One of the big headlines coming out today is all about DACA, the Deferred Action on Childhood Arrivals. There were some on the Democratic side saying, hey, we had dinner with President Trump and we got a deal. DACA is going to be saved. No one has to worry. President Trump, however, started tweeting, saying, not so fast. We don't exactly have a deal yet. He was tweeting about how, of course, we want to do something to keep good people in this country, especially those that have passed background checks and served in the military and are otherwise productive members of society and are here through no fault of their own. But let's not jump to conclusions. We don't have a deal yet. For the full story, Diana Blass. This is what you see outside the Reformed Church of Highland Park, a wall but not the kind President Trump has in mind along the U.S.-Mexico border. This one says acceptance and tolerance for any person. It's the wall against walls, as Reverend Seth Capperdale puts it. The pastor and Green Party candidate for governor in New Jersey has been an outspoken critic to President Trump's policies. He's now working to protect dozens of families from deportation after Trump announced he would cancel DACA. Former President Obama's deferred action for childhood arrivals. It's not only the DACA youth who are at risk, it's all of their families who have been receiving prosecutorial discretion um, for many, many years. Trump announced last week he would give Congress six months to rework DACA. On Wednesday night, young immigrants got a glimmer of hope when Democrats released this statement. Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi and Senator Chuck Schumer writing they reached a deal to preserve DACA to enhance border security but not fund the wall. President Trump dismissed those accusations on Twitter Thursday morning and told Fox News the wall is mandatory. In Highland Park, New Jersey, I'm Diana Blass for Chasing News. Thank you, Diana. All right, I want to bring in our A-plus panel. Jeanette Hoffman is back, political strategist. Good to have you here. Thanks, Bill. Justin Shoham, thank you. You're also a political strategist. We're, uh, we're happy to welcome you to Chase News. My pleasure, Bill. And uh, Andre Richardson, again, a political strategist. Good to have you here, Andre. <laughs> Good to be Andre, here. I'm going to start with you. Here's the question. Do you trust Trump on DACA? Absolutely not. I haven't seen somebody run a better end around than when Randall Cunningham played for the Philadelphia Eagles. This guy's whole media strategy is to say one thing, take the complete opposite action on it, reverse it around, and then tweet something just out of the, out of the ethers. And no one knows what it means. Jeanette, do you agree I, with that? I mean, no, it seems to me no. that Trump has been pretty consistent. He didn't like the legality, the constitutionality Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. Look, about? there's nothing compassionate about the executive order that Barack Obama put in place. President Trump is saying, I want a real legislative solution to, to this issue, to DACA. And look, I am not the biggest fan of Donald Trump all the time. I'm aware. But right now, I think he's absolutely doing the right thing and sitting down with Democrats and actually getting something done for changing but Justin, Washington. did it hurt the Democrats to come out and say, hey, we got a deal, when in fact uh, the president right away said, no, no, we don't? I, I absolutely do not think so. What I think is, I think the president is learning what we've been saying all along that the Republicans in Congress are impossible to deal with. So he's doing what he needs to do to get something done, a deal, so to speak. Uh, he wrote the book on deals, uh, literally. So Andre, is this it? He's deal. pragmatic? I mean, can you give him credit on this? He seems to have the Democrats now fighting over the ground they've already covered for the last eight years. It's memorable of the Muslim ban. Like, he said he was, was going to be this ban, and we're going to keep everybody out. And then I was like, oh, we're only going to keep out certain countries. And it was this hodgepodge of ideas that wound up falling on its head. This looks but the similar. courts held up the travel ban, saying it wasn't a Muslim ban, and it was perfectly fine. So do you agree with that? No, I, I don't. I think, look, this is compromise. This is about getting things done in Washington, which hasn't happened in a really long time. The president talked about border security as part of that deal, and Democrats need to go along with that. So, Andrew, do we get a wall? We're going to get a fence. We're probably not going to get a wall. We're we already get have a fence. fence. Well, yeah. Justin, both to that point, uh, right. illegal crossings, border crossings on our southern border, down almost 70%. They haven't put one brick up. Well, if you want to look at stats that way, you can say that deportations were down under President Obama, but the rhetoric wouldn't look that way, would it? I mean, I, I think there's enough support in Congress for more border security. Yeah. But, and I well, think that, and, that could and, be part of a deal. And President Trump has already acted on that. There's 15,000 more border officers now than since when President Trump So let's office. ask, what are you hearing from your constituents, though? You guys are representing candidates. You're out there campaigning. Uh, are people worried? Are they scared? Where I, are they? I think people don't dwell in facts enough these day and age. And the That's facts true. are there's 22 million DACA dreamers here in New Jersey, and they account for $1.8 billion. Wait, how many? 22,000, I'm sorry, did I say 22 million? 22,000. <laughs> 22, <laughs> I was like, wow. Man, somebody 22, was asleep at the border. 22,000, 1.8 million in GDP. 
uh, 66 million in state and local taxes. So let me ask you though, do you then not support what the president said when he tweeted out today and said, hey, we want to keep these people yeah. here. I mean, he actually said Absolutely. exactly what I think Barack Obama would have said, etc. Exactly. Just Absolutely. wants to do it legally. Exactly. But Democrats can't give him any credit, God forbid. I, I absolutely I absolutely support keeping everybody here that's a DACA recipient now. Absolutely. All right, so so let's uh, I gotta leave that there. I wanna switch gears a little bit.